be fair, there's some great technologies out there. And I've used pretty much everything out there, at least available to us in the United States. I still will say, and I can be honest about this, I think there's there's some significant benefits of the eye track. The first thing is obvious is the light. I think that when you talk about fear of canaloplasty, fear of any trabeculotomy, the biggest fear is where is that catheter going? And so having the light not only makes you feel comfortable, confident, but you really know exactly where you are. And then you can actually back up and you can then advance it and you can really get through some of the herniation. So the appreciation of anatomy of every patient is so much more impressive for me. Having that light source there, because you, you'd be amazed at how the canal is so different in every patient. If you think of it as a nice big tube that's circular in every patient, it's not, right? No. It's, it's not, it's, it's not. There's definitely segmental changes that occur. There's herniations that occur. And being able to see those and kind of even the distance from the limbus where it's located is very different in each patient. You see that light go around. But you can see it, not very often, but once in a while, go into an offshoot. And you're like, oh my gosh, if I had kept going, I would have gone further posterior. And so you just the, retrieve it. And you can go back again, yeah. and you find it the the cal again, which I love because it's it's guided. It's really guided, and I like to be guided. And and the tubing of the catheter itself is also very soft. I think the risk of tearing something or damaging tissue is less. Is is when it slides in the canal compared to many other devices, it, it's able to go 360 so much more smoothly than some of the other devices I've used. And I think that by that because of the the material the shape of it and the size of it, it really does fit the canal very well. And so going 360 very quickly and efficiently is something I've seen more with the eye track than I had to do with some of the other devices. The reality is you're going blind into the Schlenz Canal space. So you are introducing something into that region. You're hoping that it's going around in the right direction, in the right space. And you don't know that it's not being redirected down, say into the suprachoroidal space, for example. Um, and the beauty of it is that you know you're in that space. It's very satisfying to know exactly where you're injecting your viscoelastic. Say if you'd come up against resistance and you think, okay, let's inject some more, inject some more, but you don't know which space you're injecting to, you could run into troubles. Actually, everyone in the room can see the illumination as it goes around. So I think it's important because we don't know what's happening in that space. We need to be able to be reassured that we're actually injecting the viscoelastic into the correct space. Yeah, there's, there's quite a few canalplasty devices. And while I've used them all, the reason I keep coming back to the iTrack Advance is because exactly what you said. I can see exactly where my catheter tip is. I don't want my patients to move because they're feeling something, to want it to be a comfortable procedure and a safe procedure. And by having that lit catheter all the way around and being able to dial in exactly how much OVD we want per quadrant, which you yeah. can titrate per patient, it's the difference for me. Yeah, I think it's really, really useful to guide your surgery, definitely. Yeah, so. absolutely.